Hi, my name is Daniel Folliard. I'm a professor of modern history at the Université Paris de in France, and I'm the author of The Violence of Colonial Photography. It is a book about late 19th century and early 20th century French and British visual records of colonial supremacy. More often than not, we hear sanitized narratives on our imperial paths. We are told that extreme violence was more often than not an anomaly in these contexts. And the few surviving photographic fragments testifying to the reality of racialized violence at the time are often, are often ignored or sidelined. The argument of my book is that these images are documents in spite of all, and that respectfully looking at them, not as mere illustrations, but as the very unstable material that they are, opens the possibility of a collective acknowledgement of the centrality of physical violence in European colonial expansion. This is also a book about how we can try to care for the histories of the diverse people figured in these disturbing photographs. The choice in this work is to look straightforwardly at these images, rather than fear them and the sort of Euro-American fetishes they became in the late 19th and early 20th century. And the book is also about how the vocabulary of photographic sensationalism emerged at the time. The choice is to welcome and harness the inescapable emotions they elicit in us in order to define these images with words and conversations like those I had with colleagues and descendants from several affected communities documented in the book. Perpetrators wanted these colonial photographs to work as instruments of humiliation, they, exa they exaggerated their power and they exaggerated the immediacy of their photographs to hide the fragility of the, their imperial constructions. They often also whitewashed their histories. The violence of colonial photography offers to confront these erasures and the colonial sanctification of violence. This work is about taking the time and care to go beyond the initial shock and yet to keep its momentum, to go beyond our tendencies to passive consumption of human misery in order to engage with these difficult records and their inherent limitations as documents. So if you're interested in the history of photography, its relation to war, racial violence, and imperial histories, I think you will find this book rewarding and interesting. So do pick up a copy when the book is released mid-November.